Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher, and for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. Um, so yeah, kind of a mid channel, mid month channel update video, I guess. Um, normally I do these update videos at the end of each month, but I felt that this one probably couldn't slash shouldn't wait. Um, and I should probably just talk about it now. Um. You guys who've been with the channel long enough know that I tend to I tend to just like to have full transparency with you guys so if I enjoy something that I'm reacting to that I'm watching I'll let you guys know that I'm enjoying it if I don't enjoy it I'll let you guys know that I'm not enjoying it politely if I'm really not enjoying it then I'll start swearing and cursing and let you guys know that I'm really not enjoying it um, if I I'm having a great day or if I'm not having a great day but then I react to something that turns my mood around I'll let you guys know like because yes I know there are a number of you guys who follow me just for the sake of reactions and that's all you want out of me you just, just want Topher sit there and watch and I, I don't care about your day-to-day -day life I don't care about you I don't care about this that the other I just want you to hoot and holler and scream at the television when when you're watching things and that's fine that that's cool I know there are a number of you who genuinely do have a vested interest in me and other reactors that you follow um i know from conversations we've had in comment sections i've had in my dms on various social media posts that i've had on various social media so like i know there are a lot of you out there who actually genuinely care and i appreciate you i appreciate you um but yeah so that being said full transparency um i'm not i'm not in the best of moods today i'm not i'm not mad i'm not sad um, I guess irritated, frustrated is the best way I can describe it. There's just been a number of um, irritating and frustrating events that have taken place over the last like two days that have just all kind of culminated to this general um, mood that I'm in right now. Um, and I know there's a number of you who are just like here because you want to know what the title is in reference to and why I would say such a thing. Um, and I've mentioned it before, I'm not one for doing clickbaity titles. I've only done that once with a channel update video that I did months and months and months ago, uh, mainly because I just wanted people to actually watch my channel update videos um, because I see the analytics and I know how many subscribers I have and I know how many people watch my channel update videos and there's a huge discrepancy between those things so i did that click baby title that last time because i wanted people to watch my channel update video so i would stop getting asked questions that i've already answered and it worked because i had probably five times the number of views in that channel update video than i get any other channel update video so it works but unfortunately this time is not one of those cases I, this is not a title just for the sake of quick bait to get people to view this um but yeah, if you would like to know what that title is in reference to, I'll talk about that in a little bit. Maybe future Topher will be kind enough and put a timestamp here that you can just jump to. Um, or he might just be not in a great mood and just say they, they'll they just have to suffer through my rant and just get, get to that information whenever I decide to talk about it. Um, it won't be too long. I just, again, people who actually genuinely care about me and whatnot and want to know the things of the things that are going on and why I'm frustrated. I'm just going to go through a quick little bit of frust reasons why I'm frustrated, get them out, and then we'll talk about the actual title. So first thing I guess that really happened to kind of stir up some sort of frustration, confusion, um, was a recent um, person who I've not seen in like four or five years at this point um, and have not spoken to in at least two years um, randomly just popped up popped up in my DMs on the Instagrams like hey I saw you were here so I created an account and wanted to just say hey I'm like okay hey last time I talked to this person two years ago um, similar kind of thing except in my text messages like hey I haven't you know how have you been this is so-and-so we used to work together how you doing and I'm like okay at that point I hadn't talked to the person in about two years um, and basically just kind of dropping in roundabout beating around the bush looking for looking for some fun fun shenanigans for some fun times wanted to be 
friends. And why, out of the blue, am I the person that comes to your mind when you decide that you want to have friends with benefits or whatnot when we have no friendship? We have no friendship. We have no existing relationship. We worked together four or five years ago. We didn't talk to each other much then. I haven't talked to you since we stopped working to each other. I'm like, why why do you keep popping up every two years? Like like some sort of pennywise hibernation cycle, um, to pop in my either my text or my DMs and be like, Hey, let's how how you doing? Blah blah blah. I don't know. I don't understand. Um but yeah, proposition was made and I was very polite, very clear about where I stand on that. I have no problems with people engaging in any kind of casual, consensual, if you've watched my channel, um, adult activities, I don't care. Um, but for me, it's just not something that I do. I've been celibate for over the last decade, by choice, um, and it's just not something that I partake in. So I told him, like, hey, if you want to be friends, that's fine. I'm welcome that, but as far as friends with benefits, I don't know what benefits you are going to get from me because I have no benefits to give. I, I don't have a 401k. I have no health benefits. I don't. I don't provide dental, and I don't have any of those other, other benefits you're looking for. Um, and he's like, "Oh my, I, that's awesome. I, I guess I, um, I assumed wrong." And then in my head, I'm like, "What made you assume that the other was going to be the option?" Because again, I know like for people who watch my reactions, or people who are friends with me, this, that, the other, or people who work with me. Like, yes, I know I say a lot of things. I say a lot of things. I'm a very thirsty acting individual i say all kinds of shenanigans and by the things that come out of my mouth a complete stranger probably thinks that i am whoring up the streets left right blah, blah 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 but again we've had no interaction over the last four years aside from the two conversations you tried to have two years ago and then now this conversation so what between those interactions as well as the time that we work together gave you the impression that i'm out here just Sling it around for, for God and everybody. Again, no problem if that's what people do. I don't judge. I don't judge. I don't judge anybody's sexual appetite. I don't judge anything. Y'all live your best life. As long as, again, consensual. I don't care. Y'all do whatever y'all want to do. Um, but what exactly about it is that I'm doing is um, that you saw, because again, we've had no interactions, um, that's giving you that impression that I'm just ready to just sling it around with somebody I ain't seen in over four years. Don't know. Don't know. But it was a terribly frustrating little experience there. So that was the first thing that happened. Um, the next little bit of frustration. Um, I guess it kind of started over the weekend and then kind of just came to fruition a couple hours ago. Um, but if you saw my channel update video, I think for either September or October, one of those, I probably mentioned at one point that um, I was in the talks of, like I was, I just finished doing Rent, I was jumping directly into Color Purple, um, I, then I was going to jump into rehearsals for these two tours I'm going to go on in November, well, end of October through November, and then November through December, um, and then I was potentially in the talks of playing a role in another production that would go up in January but rehearsals would start end of October and you know work their way through um, and if you did see that video I mentioned that it wasn't a role that I asked for it wasn't a role that I was like ooh I saw this audition let me go audition it was something that the director slid into my DMs and was like hey this is my vision for this role and I think you would be great for this role would you consider you know coming out for this and i told the director thank you for thinking of me and i would be happy to if you're okay with the fact that i have these prior commitments in november and december i'm gonna be out of town this week and be out of town this week with gigs that i've already priorly booked um so if you're okay with that that's fine and if not you know that's fine too and I was told, oh yeah, that shouldn't be any issue, blah, 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 Cool. Then I hear from the stage manager, oh, hey, you know, we'd like to offer you the role of so-and-so. Can you, um, 
can you send us a video of you singing this song so that we can so the music director can you know hear your voice this and the other sure fine send the video great um then a couple weeks later hey we'd like to officially offer you this role would you would you like to accept it i was like sure but again as long as you guys are okay with these conflicts that i have because at this point i had not received any sort of rehearsal schedule despite me asking a number of times so like as long as you guys are okay with these conflicts that i have for these pre-existing gigs that i've already booked paying gigs where this one is not a paying gig um as long as you're okay i'm fine with that and stage manager asked okay yeah just send you know text me the the conflicts so text the conflicts here's the conflicts great cool about a week later i hear uh, back hey would you mind coming in this sunday um we're holding the auditions but we would really like to just take the measurements take your measurements um for the costumes and whatnot because they want they have to get the costumes started early again they've already offered me the role and they want me to come in for the measurements fine cool fine i'll come in if you saw my channel update video for october you know that i'm currently without a car because my car was totaled um on my way to a different gig a couple weeks back and i finally this week i got the insur the money from insurance so hopefully tomorrow i'm gonna go shopping for a car and hopefully i'll have a car then but i did not have a car at that particular point so i've been lifting to and fro and this place is not around the corner it is a 40 minute lift to and fro so i was like okay sure I can make it out there to, you know, get whatever measurements and this, that, and the other. So I get there and no measurements are taken. I, you know, I'm brought into the audition room to talk to the people and whatnot. And they're like, okay, um, so what are you singing? And I'm like, okay, sure, fine, I'll sing for you again. So I whip out a song on YouTube and I just start singing. I give them the performance of a lifetime. Um, did Sweet Transvestite from Rocky Horror Picture Show. I sashayed up and down that stage. I did all kinds of stuff. I gave these people a show because they were looking to cast a more drag representation of this role that they're that they're casting for. So I'm like, okay, fine. I'll give them the drag fantasy. Um, even though I didn't come prepared to audition, I came to get measured as I was told. Um, well then, I had already mentally put up in my mind based off of how things played out Sunday that they probably were going to go a different direction um so I finally got the confirmation earlier today that hey you know we're we're not gonna be able to offer you any role in this um this show but you know I hope blah 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 hope you do well can't wait to see whatever else you're in next this that the other and I'm like that's fine again I'm fine not getting the part like it's one thing to want to audition for a show and to not get it yes there's a level of frustration there performers y'all know what i'm talking about but again i did not ask to be a part of this i this show this theater was not even on my radar not a single thought in my head so i did not ask to be a part of this y'all approached me and said hey would you come out and do this for us and then y'all offered me the part two separate occasions and each time i asked y'all hey are you okay with these conflicts i was told yes please come in and we'll measure you and now i'm being told that we had to go a different direction because the production staff just couldn't work with all those conflicts i'm like okay that is fine but could you have told me this before sunday before i wasted my time to lift all the way out there and then randomly do some bullshit audition that I was not told that I was going to do and then before I wasted my money again lifting all the way out there and lifting all the way back like it's what I just I don't like having my time wasted I don't like having my time or my money wasted so this combination of things just left a bad taste in my mouth and I'm like but you know I still remain professional yes yes so oh, I completely understand this that and the other because again I understand I've been saying it since you guys first approached me as long as you guys are okay with these conflicts then I'm fine taking this part but if you're not okay with these conflicts that's also fine too I understand but let me know let me know before I get there before I waste the time energy and money to get there to then do whatever this bullshit audition is let me know y'all could have let because again y'all had my conflicts for like a month at this particular point so that was another frustrating um instance of something that happened um 
I wanted to say there were four things. Well, three things outside of the title. Um, I don't remember what the third thing is right now. There, there was something else that irritated me um, that compounded onto this. I'll probably remember whatever. But then the last thing, which is what the title is in reference to, um, again, if you saw my channel update video for October, then you would have seen where I made mention that I did receive a copyright strike. Um, of my own just mistake um, because I had been reacting to the series Semantic Error and I knew that Semantic Error was a series that was very very quick to just like copyright strike people for reacting to their content and whatnot so I had always for all of my reactions just posted my intro and my Topher's Thoughts section to YouTube with just a link to my Patreon reactions where you could watch my actual reaction to the episode but there was one episode that um, I was just absentmindedly you know editing and uploading and whatnot and I accidentally uploaded my full reaction versus just my um, intro and Topher thought section and I thought that I had deleted that because like I got the notification oh this video is being blocked I'm like oh okay shit I uploaded the wrong video my bad let me go fix this let me go change this um, and I thought that I had deleted that like I re-uploaded the right version to YouTube where it was just the intro and the Topher thought section and I thought I deleted that original upload but I didn't I didn't so then a couple weeks went by and then boom that got copyright struck and I'm like okay shit that sucks but that was my fault that was my own negligence because again I knew that that series was one that likes to copyright strike and I just made the mistake of not deleting that video cool fine I'll own up to that but then last night I was sitting down I got myself all dressed I sat down to you know record and right when I Right when I, you know, opened up my computer, got all my my lighting set up, and I picked up my phone to put it on the charger, and I saw that I had an email. So like, okay, so and so, you know, video's been blocked. I'm kind of okay. Let me go see what this is. And then when I opened the email, it's like, okay, you know, we received a takedown request for blah blah blah. And now you have a copyright strike, and I'm like, for what? For what? Because the email's not telling me what's getting struck. So I'm like, okay, let me go over to YouTube. Let me go to my YouTube studio and see what's going on. So I go to my YouTube studio and it says, okay, you have two active copyright strikes. So I click on the little button. Let, let me see what these strikes are. So the first strike, again, is the one I described from my semantic error reaction. It just says it clearly right there. Here's what's being claimed. Here's the date it was struck. Here's the date that this copyright strike expires, blah, blah, blah. Here's all the information. Great. But then the second copyright strike has no information other than when the, the date that it was struck and the date that that strike expires. So I'm like, okay, um, what am I getting a copyright strike for? Because like neither the email nor the actual YouTube studio is telling me what's being struck, what video did this. So after like 15 minutes of searching I went to YouTube help whatever finally was able to get into like some YouTube chat with I guess a, a YouTube professional or whatever and basically said hey this is a situation um, all I all I got is the link to the video that was struck and removed but I can't see anything because the video has been removed. So when I click the link, it just says, oh, the video has been removed. So I don't know what the title of the video is. I don't know anything. I don't know what reaction this was. So can you tell me, is there any way for you YouTube people to tell me what, what video this was? Because A, if the copy, if it's something that falls under, you know, fair use, well, then I would like to contest this strike and then if it's not something that falls under fair use okay fine I'll take the strike because again it's not my first time getting a strike I've gotten strikes before um, but they've you know expired but can you tell me what video it was so that if I am reacting to other things from this person who holds this copyright I can address that before they decide that they want to just strike more things because right now I'm sitting pretty at two 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 strikes two copyright strikes and it's like that's just one strike away from getting my channel deleted and I would like that to not happen so after a back and forth um, with 
the lady in the chat on YouTube, she's like, okay, well, this information is private or it's a private matter or something like that. So we can't um, communicate this information via chat. So I'll send you a follow-up email to the email address that's linked to your YouTube account. So I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. About 20 minutes go by and I get the follow-up email and basically saying something along the lines of the, whatever video it was, had a takedown request or something submitted and uh, see, I, can't, I can't remember because the process that was described sounds so stupid and makes absolutely no fucking sense to me um, so I can, let me go to my email real quick do, 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 do. not this account this one uh, yeah so, hi Christopher, I hope you're safe and well. As promised, I'm sending this follow-up email so I can address your issue about the strike that you received for a video that is already deleted. Please allow me to provide all the facts here. As you may already know, when a copyright owner formally notifies us that you don't have their permission to post their content on YouTube, we take down your video to comply with the DMCA and issue a copyright strike to your channel. Great. In your case, the copyright owner may have filed a takedown request before your video was deleted. Yeah, I imagine they probably did because the video was up, so they had to, they requested to take it down. Sure, okay. Um, however, due to the large volume of requests, the, the request was approved after the video was removed from the platform. This means the only option for you is to wait 90 days for the strike to expire. Strikes expire one at a time as long as you complete copyright school and get no more copyright strikes during those 90 days. If you have more questions, feel free to reply to this email. So I replied to her, I'm like, okay, well that doesn't actually answer anything that I asked. Because what I said was, hey, if, can you tell me what, can you tell me information about this video? Because I have no information about this video and I don't know if what was struck was a music reaction that I did. I don't know if it was a series reaction that I did. I don't know what it was that got struck. So I don't know if I've got like 15 other videos out there. I could have one other video from that person. I could have 17 other videos from that person. So I can have any number of copyright strikes just waiting in the wings because I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know how to go about finding what video to avoid or what video to take off of my channel before it gets struck anymore. Um, so is there any way, is there a database or a log file or something like you said, you guys received the takedown request from somebody, there has to be some log of something from somebody in reference to this video that received the request to get the takedown. Like there has to be a database somewhere. There's gotta be something somewhere where you can get me a title. Even if you can't tell me what video is being claimed, like what, cop what content's being claimed by the copyright holder, there's got to be something somewhere that'll at least tell me what the title of the video was that got deleted. Um, there's got to be something somewhere so I know, oh, okay, this was actually my reaction to Lindsay Lohan from th six and a half years ago. So, oh, okay, let me go delete all my Lindsay Lohan reactions. I use that because that's what and that was the last reaction that ended up getting my original Twitter channel or Twitter um, account suspended. Um, okay, uh, nonsense. Don't get me started on that. But I'm like. How, somebody tell me something and she's like yeah unfortunately that inf there's 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 just no information what we do a complete wipe um when we remove things from our system and i'm like well that's complete bullshit that, that i'm not telling her that but in my head i'm like that's bullshit like there's got to be some level of documentation somewhere there's got to be something so basically no help no help whatsoever so right now I'm currently sitting at two copyright strikes, one of which I'm fully aware of was my my mistake, like I described earlier, my negligence, and the other one, I have absolutely no idea. I have no idea what was struck, um, and I have no idea if I've reacted to anything else from this copyright, because I don't know who the copyright holder is, I don't know what was struck, I know absolutely nothing about this other copyright other than the video's been removed. And I have a link to where the video originally was. I've tried Googling that link to see, okay, because like you guys know, I share 
um, I post on Facebook and Twitter like oh I just reacted to this so here's the link to my YouTube so I tried searching through Google for that but nothing was popping up so I'm like I don't know I don't know what video this is I have absolutely no idea so the main purpose for the title of this update video is that I don't know I don't know but potentially my channel could get shut down it very well could because all it's gonna take is one one more strike and you know as a reactor on YouTube it's the chance that we all take we all take this chance because you never know when a copyright owner is going to decide that oh actually I don't want this person using my content so I would like you to take it down and give them a strike you never know the first time I ever got a copyright strike was um, when I was reacting to Casey Tendingen on the singer competition over in China um, it's a performance that I've seen reactions to from hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of other people so why mine got struck and not theirs I don't know but the thing was like it didn't get struck until like six or seven months after the reaction had been public reaction went up there was no copyright claim nothing on the video it had been up the entire time and then all of a sudden six or seven months I get an email hey we got a copyright strike and we're you know taking down this video and I'm like this video has been up for um, over half a year so why is it you're just now deciding so like you never know when even though there might not be a copyright claim right now on your video you never know when the copyright owner is just gonna up and decide you know what that's mine and I don't want them give them a strike because I've got I get emails and copyright claims all the time for old old reactions especially a lot of older series reactions I've done um, where like the reactions have been up for a year plus at this point but then all of a sudden copyright owner decides oh well you know what actually that is my background music in the back of that um, episode that's being claimed there so I'm gonna claim this or actually you know what that is my that's my show so I'm gonna claim that now and it's like okay this has been up for God knows how long why are we just claiming this now but then I'll submit a dispute and see what happens sometimes they release the disputes because sometimes it just kind of automatically triggers a year later um, and sometimes they don't release the dispute and, you know, it is what it is but you never know when the copyright owner is just gonna decide hey I want to claim this as my own so that's the risk that we take as reactors on YouTube so if you are following any reactors on YouTube you better get in their comment section and thank them thank them for every bit of work they do because it is a lot of work I'm a month away from my four-year anniversary as a YouTube reactor um, and this is not quite how I want to celebrate my um, anniversary um, so yeah get in those comment sections and thank the people because they are putting a lot of work and a lot of effort into these videos that could any day just get struck and taken down like any any day of the week you could just accumulate strike 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 and then bam your channel's gone so I'm hoping that doesn't happen I'm very much hoping that doesn't happen um, but I don't know it is a very very possible thing it is very possible that this channel could be gone relatively soon um, I'd like it not to happen but if it does happen I don't know I don't know like I have another YouTube channel that's not linked to this email address so if this channel gets deleted um, that channel will be fine so you should go follow that um, but if that ends up being the case and this channel ends up getting deleted if I were to go over to that channel and use it for something I don't know that I would be doing reactions anymore I don't know what kind of content I would be making like I've talked about I've had conversations with Synergic a number of times we've both talked about you know creating content that's not reaction based or additional content outside of reactions because we love re making reactions we do but again dealing with the copyrights is not always fun and it's nice to create original content where you don't have to worry about copyrights and whatnot so it's it's nothing that I haven't thought about before I just haven't haven't really dived into it but yeah if this channel gets deleted I I don't know that I'm going to make another reaction channel um, I, I don't know that I will do one like I said I already have the other channel but I don't know that I'll actually make use of it I might just let it sit there I might delete it too I don't know I don't know um, because like I said it's almost four years that I've been doing this it's a lot of time it's a lot of effort I've got almost 2,000 reaction videos on this channel and I'm not just giving you know just saying a random number like literally every time I do a reaction I add it to 
whatever playlist it belongs to and I added it to my Topher Reacts playlist and I think I looked at earlier today and I had 1,928 reaction videos. That's a shit ton of reactions. I've got a lot of reactions on this channel. I've done so many videos over the last four years. Um, so I don't know that I necessarily will have the same desire to put that much energy into something that could just get taken away at the snap of a hat. Snap of a hat? Drop of a hat. Whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. If you're, if you're a you know, superstitious person or a, 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 a praying person, you know, throw, throw a prayer out there for us. You know, light some candle, light some incense, light some sage, and get rid of the YouTube demons, you know, whatever. And just hope that I don't get another strike between now and December when that first strike will expire. Um, but if I do, then yeah, you know, if this channel's just not here one day and you come looking for Topher's reactions and you know what happened. Um, I remember what the other thing that was annoying me. I've been sitting here trying to record this video for over an hour now. I opened my computer and it was just being slow and sluggish. So I'm like, okay, let me restart my computer. And then I restart my computer and my computer decided, okay, well, I'm going to update your system. I'm going to update your windows and update everything. So I'm like, okay, so I've been sitting here for like an hour trying to just record this because I just want to record this so I can do a quick little edit, upload, and eat my dinner and go to bed because yesterday I was going to sit down and record all manner of things and that whole exchange with YouTube just sucked away all that desire and I don't know when I'm going to record any new reactions. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm definitely going to give it a couple days off just so I can focus on A, the show that I'm rehearsing right now um, for the tour I'm going on next week. Um, and so I can just, I guess, I don't know, rest and try to relax. Um, but also, so hopefully more people will see this video since it'll be the last video that has been uploaded in the last couple of days. Hopefully more people will stop and be like, oh, he hasn't posted anything in a few days. Let me see what this, what's up with this. Um, but yeah, yeah, fun times. Um, either way, if the channel does get end up getting deleted, I'll still have a presence in some way, shape, or form. Like, I'll still be on the Twitter, I'll still be on the Facebook and the Instagram. Um, as of now, I'll still be doing my podcast with Synergic. If you're not subscribed or listening to that, you probably should, because it's fun shenanigans. So I'll still continue those shenanigans and whatnot. But yeah, I, I don't know what is exactly going to come in the future for this channel. I will continue to record reactions as long as I can, um, and I'll start again, like I said, I'll start rec recording reactions again in a few days, um, but yeah, that that is the majority of the things, of the things right now. So this was a longer update video than I intended, but who's really surprised? Topher really just knows how to talk and talk and talk, um, but yeah, so... That's it. Bye. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys.